weak immune system right so means like let's say i'm allergic to gluten even if i have any trace, uh, traces of gluten in my stomach it makes me ill it makes me sick so those are the weak immune system they also are very vulnerable to so make sure whenever you serve any food to them it is very important to pay attention uh, <coughs> have you heard about vegan vegan what does it mean this diet is like these are the all of the diets these all are the diets means what is vegan what is lacto what is over lacto what is msg what is semi vegetarian what is pescatarian what is gluten these are very very trend in melbourne especially in west australia <coughs> all the white skins like they always have allergic to these things so it is very important when you work in a kitchen you should be serving them according to their needs so vegan is which not contain any animal product plant what else based. Yeah. plant based uh, yes very good plant based <coughs> diet or food yes plant based food means they can only have plants like all the salads and different types of tomatoes veggies no problem at all but when it comes to dairy when it comes to meat when it comes it comes to poultry then when it comes to seafood when it comes to uh flesh of animals they cannot have or they cannot have even eggs all the plant based food no dairy no eggs no meat no poultry no seafood second one is lacto have you heard about lacto before lactose free when you go to course on the milk section you will see lactose free milk yes right so what is lacto lacto means the person can only consume dairy only consume dairy but they can cannot have the no meat poultry seafood seafood eggs yes they cannot have no meat no poultry no seafood but they can only have plant based dairy dairy the plant based is already there like as long as it's not impure they can have the plant yeah. so otherwise the way they put the dairy if they don't have plant they will put the dairy on the plants right the next one is ovo ovo is which contain egg this shape what we call this shape egg egg right the person can have egg and dairy, dairy. dairy. <coughs> but no meat poultry she food meat poultry she food easy So they can have now plant egg and dairy person is msg do you have you heard about this one before no sir what does it mean monosodium it mono sodium sodium glutamate so that is the msg we call it so this is basically a uh, have you heard about like in india in nepal we used to use in the cooking uh, msg which is uh, we call it uh, salt the marina water <laughs> kind of yeah so that is we msg so that we use mostly in the food so mono sodium glutamate so that is mostly also recommended like those pers- person are allergic to it or they cannot have it so they always avoid it. next one is semi vegetarian <coughs> semi vegetarian have you heard about this one before so person can have Egg. Person can have flash of poultry. Flash. Such as, like they are vegetarian, semi-vegetarian flash, like salami, like pepperoni. they can have the small uh, the liver of the chicken they can also have a, a small light meat 
right? So that's the flash of semi vegetarians. They can have only the small flash of chicken in their diet, like the processed meat. Yeah, again, okay. right? But they cannot have the another meat. The next one is pescatarian. Seafood. We can only have the seafood. Person can only have seafood. seafood. No. Meat. No poultry. No red meat. Poultry. No eggs. Gluten. All wheat. Wheat flour. What is gluten? Wheat flour. Okay, basically we have to like wheat flour. It is always happen with the wheat flour. That's absolutely true. But what is gluten? What it has gluten? You know, all the grains they have the content of sugar. Right, carbohydrates we call it the carbohydrates, carbohydrates and sugar always in the gluten. But is sugar in the wheat like every product you eat in the nowadays? It has sugar, even you go with the veggie, they have sugar. If you go with the potatoes, it has sugar. If you go with the natural other products, they have sugar banana, apple, quiche, they all have sugar. Question arises here that if you consume sugar from the gluten, does it have gluten? Like carbohydrates plus sugar if you ate it. Carbohydrates, yes, but if you talk about the sugar, sugar does not contain gluten in it when you have gluten. So means gluten is mostly from the grains which has carbohydrate plus sugar. So how we find it there is a sugar a gluten in there or not? There are different types of grains are there so wheat what one want is rye <laughs> barley so these has gluten these have gluten so why wheat rye barley so they have gluten without gluten sir maize rice Rice, potatoes, quinoa, buckwheat is. Yeah, so even quinoa, uh, quinoa, and also there is a um, polen, uh, not polen, no. there is a another one, bulgur. Buckwheat have gluten or not? Yes, it is. But there is a gluten free available in that. Corn flour, rice flour, salad, quinoa, chickpea flour. This is well, very like all be from the different culture, like Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Sri Lanka, India. We are very familiar with these flowers. Wheat, tray, barely, these are the gluten, but without gluten, it may be rice flour, potato flour, corn flour, chickpea flour, and also ara root. The ara root and the corn flour, they look like similar, but they actually they are different. different. Yeah, right? So, ara root and the corn flour. They are the two different categories. Millet, millet have the gluten as well or not? No. So these are the very familiar which options. If anybody comes with the gluten in your premises, you will say, do you serve gluten? Yes, we have gluten in these ones, but we have option here. You have chickpea flour, you have corn flour, you have potato flour, you have rice flour, you have arrowroot. Yeah, yeah. So with the help of these ones, but nowadays with the modern convenient products, with the help of uh, more uh, refinery we have ready-made convenient products you gluten free flour you can get any convenient store like Coles, Woolworths, Aldi you can get nowadays gluten free flour so there will be no stress much there used to be a problem but now it's all sorted so we are pretty much okay okay so there is a celiac we're going to talk about celiac what is celiac 
it, Have you heard about celiac before? Yeah. What is celiac? It is something very allergic with. It is yeah. very allergic. Yeah, it is a kind of. It's very allergic to something. So it is a disease. Disease. Right. It is a disease which happened from. Gluten. Which happened from gluten. So this one is goes here and here. So from gluten. There is a one disease happen that is called celiac. That is called celiac. Are you using cell phone? It looks like. So, if person says I am not gluten, I am celiac. It means he is a disease. He has a disease of celiac. It means. We will talk later any other day. There is a one intolerance and one allergy. What is the difference between those? It is already we have discussed in the class, but still we will take another day. We will talk about allergies and intolerance. But here, if person is gluten, then he has celiac, celiac. disease. That is a disease which happened from gluten. Gluten. Which happened from gluten. Gluten. So there is a disease we call it celiac disease. If somebody say I'm celiac, it means they are they, uh, they, they don't disease. want any gluten. And there is also one is legumes. Legumes. People are also allergic to legumes. So legume means lentils, green peas. Corn, chickpeas, corn. So these are the legumes. So if these somebody says I'm legumes, I'm legume free or I'm allergic to legumes, so means you cannot serve them lentils. So lentil means it mostly comes from uh, bread beans, bread beans and kidney beans. In this one, if somebody say lentils, so they have the red beans and kidney beans, so they usually it categorized in this one, right? So legume is also lentils, green pea, chickpeas, corn flour, uh, so corns, and the red beans and the kidney beans. People are allergic to it, so you should not serve them any relevant product. Apart from that, like let's say coriander allergy, garlic allergy, celery allergy. Or I would say ground nut allergies or spices allergies. So that's a usually it's not much sophisticated, I think. But still, you have to be taken care of when you work as a chef in a industry. Any questions so far? No. And these are the questions all being asked in your job ready program. Like when, like one or two years when you participate in your PR uh, marathon. So then you will be facing these questions. So if you have keep that in my mind now, so you don't have to take any session in the future. You are absolutely fine as long as you work in industry. Halal food. What is halal food? Any idea? What is halal food? Kiri kiri. No idea. Yes. What is halal food? Anyone is from Muslim background, like they are Muslims in the class. You don't know halal food? Come on. I was not expecting this from you. You don't know halal food? So halal means halal is a, the religious belief, religious, especially belief. for Muslims. For Muslims. According to the Muslim religious belief, what they do? They take the knife, they give a cut on the animal's neck. Neck. And take all the blood and the, all the blood gush out, like it comes out until it dies. All the blood comes out when it's died. Then they do according to their ritual ceremony. They call it vizu or something like that, right? So they how they do it like this process. They call it halal meat according to their Muslim beliefs. On the other hand, if you talk about the kosher meat. It is the same way. Like 
due to the Father kosher Jewish. meat with the Jewish family, yes. like Jewish culture, they always mostly avoid the feathered games bird or the feathered birds, which they always try to avoid it. So also according to their belief, they only eat vintage kosher meat. Many of the wines they do not buy from the outside, they make their own way of doing things. And the own the way they make the chicken or the those do not have feathers, they use those birds to eat it according to their beliefs. So this is the culture uh, beliefs, the way they sacrifice or way they cut the animals or which they avoid animals according to their preferences or their religious beliefs. Same with the Muslim halal meat. So many of the person when you come, when you work in a restaurant, so usually you buy meat from your suppliers and it says it is halal. So usually now the stickers are there, certifications are there, you place it in the kitchen or they place in the front of uh, the main uh, reception so where the people can see they are hal serving halal food or not. Sir, all the seafood is halal? Yes. Seafood is halal as well? Yeah, seafood is halal. How is it related to the halal food like, like when we facing the tree? Okay, very good. <coughs> Question is very good. Okay, when it comes to according to their Quran, I haven't had much knowledge, but as far as I'm concerned, chicken is halal. Chicken is halal, mostly the way they cut it. But usually when you take out the water animal out, the most of the animal get died. Die. Right? So most of the animals, though you keep in the water, they are they alive until, but after they die. So that's their natural death. You don't have to even die or cut them or you have to kill them. So that is the natural eat. <coughs> but when it comes to the animal, when you cut the animal with their beliefs, so mostly there is a two difference, like halal meat, when they cut animals like cows, you, when they cut the cow, so cows are hanging on the railings in the big factories. So where they give a cut on their neck, all the blush get out and then they walking into the next railing where they cut their neck and they cut their body parts and they separate it into the different meat. That is a process, but there is a no religious belief involved. But especially those are from Muslim backgrounds so or the butchers, they do that according to their religious belief. Like they cut the animals, then they let it rest. Then after that, they do it prayer and then they cut the meat. Sir, the actual meaning of halal is the way of cutting it? Eh? No, the way it, it is, is a religious, religious belief. Okay. The how, how they uh, present, how they like <clears throat> kill the animal, I would say. Yes, the process. Yes. So that is actually a belief. Same thing, like if you talk about Hindu community, they think uh, the cow is their mother, right? Mother, Mostly yeah. they assume it. So they do not eat cow, right? So as also in uh, Muslims, they avoid pork. Pork, yeah. The pork is also halal for them, uh, not halal for them. So that is haram, not halal, haram for them. And also Can we not, get halal pork? Can we get halal pork? So I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry, and uh, also uh, the liquor that's also haram for them so there's a few things which is their religious belief mm -hmm. same with the Christ christianity uh, hinduism and uh, muslims and the jewish so all different uh, communities have their different religious beliefs so i hope you should have what we have discussed today every thing is clear if you still have any confusion you feel free to ask me any question whenever you can or whenever you like to. All right? Thank you so much. So, take this, I'll take the photo and uh, we'll finish the class. Yes, sir? Wait. No? Don't know? Yes, sir. 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 No? We usually like what we discuss in the class is only limited to class. After outside in the Melbourne street, it's all gone. Right? We don't know what we have done today. No, I mean, we are not even bothered to think about what we have studied in the class, right?
and I feel about you like I didn't discuss this, I didn't discuss this, I should have discussed this. So hazard is a process. I'll give you the definition first, then we'll explain. Hazard analysis, critical control points. So that is the process. HACCP is a process which helps to maintain the safe food practice in the kitchen or helps to maintain the safe food for storage or to use in kitchen. So that's why we have used HACCP. HACCP means hazard analysis critical control points. So what happened is, I'll give you one example for this, then you can understand easily. Our dishwasher. Let's say our dishwasher is not washing equipment properly all the utensils not properly so what will happen it will have grease or it will have scrub in it or it will have some enzyme on it so when we use that into the plate for or cook food in to serve customers what will happen with the customers food poisoning obviously they will get bacteria or they will get sick they will have vomiting or they will get food poisoning when they will go to the doctor doctor will tell you what did you eat last night and they will get okay i had that food and then from there a council will come and they will involve in that but anyway but when we found out that people get food poisoning for our food so we have to look the risk what risk was there which caused the food poisoning so we will follow this hazard first of all we will find the hazard what is the hazard so hazard we will analyze this okay we will see okay the dishwasher is not working that is analysis then critical control so what is the critical so critical was to put a risk people lives like they got food poisoning so that was a critical so it is very critical so what we have to we have to fix the dishwasher as soon as possible so hazard we analyze and we know the critical control how we can control so we will fix it we will call the mechanic and we'll fix it control hazard analysis critical control once we control it and we will bring into that point which is our utensils or our pots will be cleaned and sanitized where the this problem will not happen again so that is why the hazard is placed so hazard a hazard analysis critical control points so where anything goes wrong in the kitchen which need to be fixed and bring back to the circle where the systemic systematically everything works on the circle so that is the why has up in the place it is not about the only dishwasher it is about the kitchen it is about the fryer it is about the uh, cool room it is also about the fridge it is also about the two to four hour rules if anything is not working appropriately that can force and where we take the help from the has up and that we obtain in the regular all right so next one is preventing food contamination how you can prevent the food from cross contamination or contamination we should keep food in different sections like dry so goods will go in dry goods section fresh will in fresh and meats in different so by that we can yes what else look if you want to only see then it's not i should talk we should finish it i can write answer you can copy take photo go home and it will be remain in your photo gallery or it will be remain written on your copy it will be not fixed here if it's fixed here then you don't have to carry copy and photo make sense because you will be end up working in a kitchen now after cert 3 or cert 4 you will be working in a kitchen once you get wbt done you will be working in a kitchen so make sure without these you will not feel okay <coughs> if your headship will ask you follow this procedure or uh, defrost anything, thaw anything, uh, follow has up, what you will do? You will get confused because you don't have an idea. So make sure you should also take care, preventing food contamination. Like when you receive delivery, make sure that it is on correct temperature. When you cook food, make sure it is on the, cooked on the right temperature and the right procedures. When you cool down, make sure you follow two to four hour rules. Make sure when you wear a uniform, make sure it's nice and clean and tidy. Make sure if you are sick, you do not come to work. Make sure when you are storing food, you should wrap it, put the label on the nice sanitized clean container. Right? What else? Do not uh, touch food. Always wash your hands regularly. Take food hygiene practice in the kitchen. 
keep clean the environment, keep clean the. Yep, clean, uh, like maintain the clean environment, play sustainability work, uh, practice in the kitchen, use hygiene practices always. Always check manufacturing and expiry date. Check always use by date, check all the temperatures every time. So these are the basic things when you can prevent food contamination. Yes? Okay, let's move on to here. What is hot food temperature? 62? 69. Above 60. I'll open to write one more. Thank you for reminding me. Yes. Hot food temperature is? Above 60 degrees, right? But if food is between between what will happen in this temperature? This is the What happened? The bacteria will grow. Bacteria start growing. Growing. In a multiplied times, right? Yeah. Very good. So danger zone is between five degree. If temperature is six, food is in danger zone. If temperature is below five fifty nine or the fifty nine, then it means food is in a danger zone. In this temperature, bacteria grows a lot. The mainly highest the they double in a quantity. Temperature is thirty two degree. So that is the temperature where the bacteria rapidly grow, like very fast. Right, so this is a picture. Always make sure within a two hours you should use that food or keep back to the poor room. Do not put more than two hours if the food reaches on this temperature, otherwise, it will create a food poisoning or it is not safe to eat. Right, so let's get back to 60 degree and cold food 0 to 5, Zero to five, degree. five degree. Very good. Okay, what is EHO? Environmental Health Officer. Where it comes from? From the council. He comes from? Environmental Health Officer. He comes from? Department of Health. Council. Your local councils. Let's say we have South Sierra and City. So they will come from South Sierra. I live in uh, Hume. So Hume Council will be there. If you are living in Vitalsi or any other side, so Vitalsi Council is there. So there are Barapi, so there are different uh, councils are there. Every council play a role. Their EHO health, uh, environmental health officer will come. They will inspect your property. If your kitchen is not clean, very dirty, like uh, mouse are dancing there, they are doing party and cockroach are having night out. So I think then it's not good. So they, what they will do, they will shut down your property. They will give you 15 days time, two weeks time. So you should clean it and call them for re-inspection. They will come and re-inspect it. If it's fine, then they will give you certificate and you can run the show. But if it's very dirty, very bad, and it means you are playing with the people's life, they will close it they will put you closer temporary closer and they will give you uh, they will put you the warning and also they will give you the fine fine can be 50000 can be 100000 it depends also if it's nice and clean uh, they can come any time of the day they can inspect anything in the kitchen they can take your ha ha hand swab they can ask you for like do you regular wash your hands or not they can take any samples from your food they can check anything that they have fully authority to do anything anytime they don't even let you know when they want to come right whs what is whs world health, world health and shifting world health and shifting world health work work, work, work. work. <laughs> i thought world health work health and Safety. Safety. Yep, that's right. So
So, which is very important whenever you work in the kitchen, the question is being asked in the JRP, the job ready program, like what is work and health and safety, what is CHO, so basic questions whenever you work in the kitchen, so make sure your safety, your colleague safety and food safety is always important, that is always priority in the kitchen. Potentially hazard foods, who will answer? What are the potentially hazard foods? Okay, you are the halfway of your course. Which have potential to cause harm. Um, like yes, examples. Cook rice, pasta, pasta. Very good. So, potentially hazardous food, many things come, such as. Oh. Raw meat, cooked meat, poultry. Poultry, same cooked poultry, seafood, what else? Cooked rice, pasta. What else? What else? That's it? Sir, nuts, nuts are included or not? No. So, so these are the basic with potentially hazard food and also there is a milk well, or dairy, dairy. dairy like whole is sub categorized and also apart from that I'll go more uh, here so processed processed hmm. such as no. such as ham. processed food ham very good ham chorizo chipolatas what else? Sauces. What else? Pastrami. Salami, pepperoni, Salami. then chorizo, then there is a uh, ham. So these all are, which is already processed, right? Which is already processed with the waste of animals. They use this one. They you just have to use like bacon. Ham, prosciutto, salami, pepperoni, they all are processed that are in potentially hazard foods. Means these food cannot be keep outside for longer period. Such as when do you receive delivery? Why your chef says, Oh come on fast, let's do delivery, keep it everything in the cool room. Reason is yes. you cannot keep it outside. If like when dairy temperatures goes up, bacteria will start or it will get deteriorated. If X will leave it outside, there will be problem. Then, then the seafood, it always a perishable items. And the poultry and the raw meats, the raw meat, all raw meat, like cooked food, cooked poultry, they all are potentially hazard food. Where you cannot keep it outside. Same like cooked pasta, cooked rice, cooked noodles, they are also potentially hazard food. Any questions so far? Next one is contaminant. Any idea what is contaminant? That's a similarly relevance with this, with this contaminant, with this answer. So any substance or any hazard of these substance, which substance? Biologically, Physical, physically, chemical, chemically or allergen happens, we call it contaminant. contaminant. So by your human, uh, by the human help, by the chemically, by the physically or by the allergen, if anything happens, we call them as contaminant. contaminant. Any hazard substance which cause biologically, chemically and physically, we call them contaminant. contaminant. Same thing, contamination we have already discussed here. Yes. And the next one is food hygiene. That's the same which we are keep discussing here. Prevent food contamination. Yes. That's also the hygiene procedures. So food hygiene you always keep safe, put the labels, never leave food more than in a danger zone, always cook on the right temperatures, uh, when you place it put the put in a clean container, put the lid on top and use it within a 2 to 3 days, refresh your cooking, check the labels, check the expiry date, check the use by date, these are the things which you have to check on the food hygiene. 
check the food food quality like when you receive the deliveries make sure vegetables are nice and fresh there no bruising of the anything they should they all should have even colors they should not have any rotten or any slime or any uh, bruise on top these things you can take same with the quality meat quality when you receive meat it has in uh, good quality freshness quantity quality all has to be a same and appropriate next one is danger zone we already have discussed last one is we have two to four hour rules we have many more after the break we will discuss some more but this one we have discussed now but last one is there two to four hour rules anyone can explain what is two to four hour rules yes please loud and clear please zero to two hour for Every food should be on room temperature after between the two to two and four to four. Will be at zero to five after four hours. Food will become the body's body. Yes, did you understand? Yes, no. Yes. Okay. What happened is first, like where first two hours of food prepared or food made or food cooked. First two hours of food prepared. You can serve it, you can sell it, you can preserve it, yeah. right? First two hours, like let's say first two hours, food can be stored, oh, sir, and sell. First two hours of food prepared, right? Let's say now I make butter chicken. Within when I finish the curry, within the next two hours I can serve it, sell it, and store it. Three things I can do, but. Further two hours, what happens? Only serve and sell. 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 That's it. Yep. If more than four hours, suck it in the bin. Discard. Or chuck. Dispose it. Right? So that you can do. This is a normally the two to four hour rule works, but the similarly question is with the two to four hours, how do you cool down? How do you cool down food with the two to four hour rule? Question is that or blast chiller? Any idea? As he said, blast chiller. Okay, he said blast chiller. That's very good idea. If you have blast chiller, then this this rule is finished, not applicable. This rule is, uh, rule is not uh, implemented. Reason is blast chiller is something like a fridge or equipment where you cook the curry, put in a flat tray. And straight away in this, put a 90 minute temperature, and within a 90 minute, it will bring zero degree temperature of your food. So here you have to wait for two to four hour rules, like two hours and then two hours. But if you put straight away in this, mostly you will find in HK Crown or Compass Group, like big companies, you will find this nowadays. If is this, then this rule is no longer is there. If this is not, then there is a this applies. Both applies. So, if somebody asks, how do you cool down the food? Mainly what happens is, small restaurants, those are the small restaurants, they always not cook it. Like they cook food, they cannot serve it straight away. What they do, they cook in a bulk, like 20 kg, 30 kg, 40 kg, they cook in a bulk. They cool it down, they put in a refrigerator, the slowly, slowly order comes, they make it and they serve it. That is the process. <coughs> Same with this, if somebody say you cook the butter chicken, Right? So butter chicken you cook and temperature is 75 degree. When you cook the curry, what will you do with this? First two hours of food prepared. First two hours of food prepared, what is the temperature? 75 degree. Bring it to? 21 degree. And next two hours? Bring it to fresh temperature.
Got it. So first two hours you should bring from 75, like this is a 75 degree temperature. You will put in a flat tray and you will from 75 to 21 degree, you will bring it from first two hours. Mm -hmm. Then further next two hours from 21 to 0 to 5. Means if in this temperature further two hours, your curry will go into cool room. Cool, yeah. How? Let's say when you have to cool down, there is a two ways to cool down food. One, you can put flat trays put the food in and leave it at the back where is no kitchen environment like in the preparation area usually kitchen temperature is always 30 35 like nearly that right if you leave your curry there it will not get easy cool down because the temperature is already 35 always keep food where the preparation area where is the normal room temperature you want to cool down take another tray put the water and the ice cube in that like bath put that food tray on top and every 15 minutes you keep stir it keep stirring it 15 minutes so in that what will happen food will get cooled down 15 to 20 minutes when you stir it that is the first step second step is you can take whole pot the big pot you clean where you clean veggies in your sink clean that area just uh, block the drainage and put cold water and ice cube in that the whole pot goes into the ice bath and stir it every 15 to 20 minutes. That is the second way. You can put flat trays. When you put in flat trays, food gets more easily cooled down. When you put in a pot, like it's already in the pot, it takes time to more longer than trays. That is the two ways. Right? So you can cool down with two these different ways. Also, when there is a no steaming coming from the food, like first two hours, you will see the food will not steam anymore because all the steam will gone. Like if food started already cool down. So what you can do is when it's there is a no steaming, you glad wrap is put the hole on top, put the label, put into the cool room. Cool room. room. Put into the cool room. When you put into the cool room, the food will with the cold air circulation, it will get cooled down. One than further than two hours. So means your food is already secure and there is a no steaming. So food is already in the cool room. If there is a steam, you put straight away in the cool room. What will happen? Any idea? Have you seen the fan inside the cool room? Yeah. It is always working, right? And it gives cold air, right? Continuously. If you will see the steaming on the food inside the cool room, that steaming will goes to the next to the fan and it will turn as a ice next to the fan or we call it a uh, condenser. So it will get their ice. Once it's turned into the ice, the cool room temperature will come. Oh, sorry, to cool room temperature will go up, not down, up. It will from five degrees to go six, seven. So your all food will be in a moisture danger zone. So that is the reason when it is no steaming food on the first two hours and further two hours when this stopped steaming, put that into the cool room and make a hole in the glad wrap. Any questions so far? Okay. We can also put it in a small container, yeah? like yes, portion in a small container. Put, like yeah. once it's cooled down, you can put in a small containers and you can place it. Mm -hmm. No problem. Any questions so far? Or can't we put that? straight away in the freezer for the short in time and take that out no can so we reason what happened when there is a steam like you when there is no steam tray. Uh, when yeah. you put in a flat tray when there is a steam when you put in a cool room so may cool room get off or may it temperature will get higher same thing to the freezer yes, as well. like freezer you can also put but it is not recommended if you have blast chiller, you can do it but many people do that like they put straight away in a freezer but it's not recommended as the cooking uh, techniques. Sir, why everyone is not using blast chiller? Everybody is not using blast, blast chiller. Because it costs like uh, good money. Oh, it's expensive. Long, and small restaurants like me, poor restaurants owner, they cannot afford that big improvement. All right. Do you follow the two to four hour rules in a restaurant? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Usually we cook accordingly. We, we always cool down the food and then keep it. So, like when you meet in the real world, you will not see these things. Yes. Sir. But when you work in a good organization, such as Crown, KHKs, 
you will be feeling like you are falling and they will be more strict on these rules so it is very initial part when you work in a real machine kitchen all right uh, that's all for today not today for the before the break and once you go your break and we'll come back with another session all good thank you